It is now official. Cincinnati now has a new tallest skyscraper this afternoon as the finishing touches were put on the 13-story tiara topping the Great American Tower downtown. Nine News reporter Bill Price is live downtown with more on the new look of Cincinnati skyline. Look up and up, huh, Bill? That's right, Tanya. You know, even though we're getting a steady rain here in downtown Cincinnati, that's not stopping a dramatic display in the sky above the Great American Tower. Let me move out of the way just so you can see how it looks right now. The uh, final. Uh, Part of the tiara, the so-called keystone, went into place about 15 or 20 minutes ago. It, well, carrying an American flag, was pulled up by a crane to the top of the Great American Tower at Queen City Square at uh, Fourth and Sycamore Streets. If we have some video, I can show you what it looked like a little bit earlier as uh, they were preparing to uh, pull up this one centerpiece that will complete this 13-story tiara that we understand is made with 300 tons of steel. And uh, this is now sitting on top of uh, the 41, 42-story actual building itself. Now, construction will continue at the site through uh, the winter months with uh, it officially opening in January. And what they're looking at doing is moving some 2,500 Great American Financial Group workers into the building at that time and officially opening it up. And that will free up a lot of other downtown office space downtown that they hope will be a key for growth. In fact, there's a party going on downstairs on top of the uh, parking garage at the Great Great American Tower uh, with the mayor and other dignitaries talking about what a financial boost this is going to be and a feather in Cincinnati's cap in a lot of ways. Of course, the uh, crown, the tiara atop the tower is designed to look like uh, one of Princess Diana's tower, uh, towers, not Princess Diana's towers, but Princess Diana's crown. So that's the now crown for the uh, uh, Queen City. All right, Tanya, Bill, back to you. Bill, thanks so much.